Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to install a 7 mode rapid fire kit for Morty mods. If you guys want to purchase this mod, there will be some links down in the description you guys can check out. So let's get to what's inside this bag here. It's going to be an anti-static bag. And there's going to be a couple of components here. You guys can see a couple already. It's a couple of resistors and diodes. There's going to be two 330 ohm resistors, one 100 ohm resistor, and one diode. There's going to be some solder included, some LEDs, the mod chip itself, and some 30 gauge kind of wire. Alright. So, here's you guys are going to need. You guys are going to need your soldering iron, preferably a 30 watt, anything above that. You guys might burn something if you guys are not using it correctly. Anything a 15 watt should be just fine. Also, you guys are gonna need a Torx State Security Bit screwdriver. Make sure it's a security bit. All right. And you're gonna you can also use some tweezers. It really helps out. Not needed, but I would really recommend them. As well, I'm gonna be using my own 60 40 rods and core solder here. And I'm going to be using some flux. I would really recommend flux. It removes any oxidation that may cause solder not to stick to any of the wire or pins on the chip itself. I'm also going to be using a little brush with some alcohol to remove any of the flux residue that might be left on the motherboard or the chip itself. And I'm also going to use my Radio Shack brass coil tip cleaner doesn't uh, cool down the tip as a wet sponge will do alright so now that you got a controller here you're gonna place some tape over the buttons that way your buttons don't fall out when you go to open your controller it just makes everything much easier alright makes it easier to close the controller as well alright so so if your controller has never been opened before there will be a barcode sticker there you guys are going to either punch through it or remove it. Doesn't really matter. And this will void your controller's warranty or anything like that. Alright. So you guys can see. Alright, so now that you guys got that open, you guys are going to want to remove a couple parts here. You want to remove that bottom piece there. You want to remove the joysticks and that's about it. I like to leave it on the bottom piece. Holding it that way I can have a steady way of holding the motherboard. That way it doesn't wiggle around. Alright. So I just leave. I like to leave it like that. So now you guys can see there on the top left corner of the chip. There's going to be a little indent. That's going to be. That's going to need to be on the bottom left corner when you place the chip down. All right, that's easy. So I just bent the pins outwards, makes it easier to start it to. And I'm gonna apply some flux at the tip here. Once again, I really recommend flux. Really helps the soldering process go much smoother. That way you won't have to apply too much pressure too much heat and pressure just in case you, your solder is not sticking so that's why I really recommend flux makes everything much cleaner alright now I'm just gonna apply some solder to the 8 pins here alright All right. Now, once you're done with that, you can start soldering. So, what I like to do is I like to just solder the whole entire roll of wire to the pin, and then I like to measure out the wire that I'm gonna be needing, and then cut it 
and strip it afterwards that way I don't get too much excess wire or too little wire so I would recommend I really recommend this technique and right, so you guys are just gonna water you just want to solder the the wire to the first pin and you're gonna measure out on the other end of the remote near the left joystick underneath it you're gonna solder to the to the point shown here it's gonna be right in that pin right there might be tricky to solder to but you'll get it real easy to do just have a little bubble of solder on your on the end of your soldering iron and you should you should get it pretty quickly now you what you're gonna want to do with that diode is you're gonna want to place it on the second pin make sure that the black ring is facing the mod chip itself Right, it's gonna be need to be facing the mod chip. All right. Now you're gonna cut that end off. You wanna grab your 100 ohm resistor, and that's gonna need to be soldered onto the dial there. You just could just cut it off. Doesn't really matter. All right. All right. You want to cut that end off and solder a wire on the other end of the resistor. And once you're done with that, the other end of that wire needs to go to the bottom contact of the fourth player LED. All right, that's going to be real easy to do. All you have to have is a little bubble of solder. Make sure you don't have too much, or you might remove the whole LED. And that's going to be tricky to put back on. Alright. You don't want to put any pressure as you guys might actually scrape off the LED. Alright, so that's real easy to do. Now you're going to want to a wire to the fourth pin there. And that wire needs to go where you started your first, your first wire to. It was going to need to be directly on top of the other one. It doesn't need to be on top as long as it's connected to the same contact as the first wire was soldered to. So that's going to be real easy to do. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright. And once you're done with that, you're going to grab your 330 on my sister and you're going to solder it. Solder it to the middle pin, right next to where the, where you soldered your first and fourth pin. All right, you're gonna cut that end off and solder a wire to it. Solder, solder your 30 gauge kind of wire to it. All right, there you go. And that's gonna need to go to the sixth pin. You're gonna you're gonna want to skip the fifth one. As you're not going to be using that pin. Alright. <clears throat> now what you did on the other side. With the resistor. As you can see there's. Three contact points. That look just like it on this side. You want to solder your wire to the. Seventh pin. And you're going to want to solder that resistor to the middle pin of those three here shown all right just solder it to the middle pin I recommend doing an L shape and having some wire I mean some solder on the on the tip of your soldering and that way heat transfers faster and the solder melts quickly that's really easy to do now cut that end of the resistor off and solder your wire to it I did that in advance. Make sure you have enough wire 
So you can go around that hole right there as that's where one of your screw goes. You don't want to pinch that because that might mess up your wire. Alright, you got that soldered now. Now you're going to solder a wire to the 8th pin of the chip. And that's going to need to go right where the bottom D-pad is. You guys can see that one there. It's going to be right above where you would plug in your wired microphone for Xbox. Alright. You guys can see there. There's a little minus sign there. You're going to want to solder it right there. Real easy to get to. All right, so I didn't have any any solder on the end of my solder. Right? All right, there you go. It's real easy to do, and that's about it. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys how I organize my wiring. I ran some wires through the back here. If you guys can see, I'll show you guys right now. You guys can see there. That's how I organize my wiring. Make sure you don't interfere with any of the holes or buttons. All right, you guys can see on the back here. I ran the wires through the back. It's gonna be real easy to do. You'll have enough wire to do it. Alright, that's why I like to measure out my wire before I actually make. Before I actually cut it. That way I don't get too much excess or too little. And to scroll through the modes is real easy. You just want to type the sync button. It's going to be real easy to scroll through. Just keep typing in until you get to the mode you want. That's going to be real easy. All right now, now you're you're done, and thank you guys for watching. You guys can rate, comment, and subscribe. All right.